Hi everyone, Donna here. I am super excited to be with you all today, uh, whether you are watching live or catching the replay. Now firstly, I know there are a lot of new people in here, so I just firstly wanted to say hi and welcome to the group. Um, I hope you've seen already that this group is such a wonderful place um, filled with so many supportive uh, parents, but I also wanted to let you know that I offer a lot of free resources and training so be sure to check out the video section of the Facebook group there's a lot of video training in there also you can check me out on YouTube but I have a free webinar where I share all the guidance to get you started on this natural journey so after this Facebook live I'm going to pop some links into uh, the comments below and uh, be sure to check them out but feel free to message me if you've got any questions now today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you about some of the excuses we often make when we think about changing our child's diet, and I can tell you that I used to make them too. Now, if any of these sound familiar to you guys, I want you to comment, be honest, don't worry, type that's me in the comments if you ever thought one of these things as well. And don't worry, as I told you, I thought many of them at some point or another too. So the first one is, it's too expensive to eat healthy. Totally said that one over and over again before I started this journey. I don't have time to cook or I don't like to cook. A little bit of a secret between you and me, I hate cooking. Um, and if any of my school friends uh, would see how much I cook these days, they would be absolutely flawed. Uh, another comment you could make, my daughter is too picky or my son is such a picky eater, he's not going to eat anything or it won't work. Let me tell you, when I talk to people who are thinking about changing the food their families eat, I have heard every excuse in the book. What I'm learning though is that many times, uh, even though uh, we might make different excuses, they all somewhat stem from the same thing, okay? They stem from fear. Most of us with challenging kids have tried so many things and have been disappointed so many times that we were afraid to try anything new. Uh, we have, we've tried natural methods that others promised would completely fix our children's behavior. We've tried various parenting techniques that others insisted would make our child behave. We've tried rewards, we've tried punishments and supplement after supplement each time getting our hopes up that they would work and each time being let down. So uh, when we think of trying something else, we're afraid. We're afraid of yet another attempt not working. We're afraid of failing as a mum and we're afraid of losing the hope that we work so hard to hold on to. Oftentimes we tell ourselves if we don't try anything, then we can't be disappointed. We make excuses to not do something because we are afraid it will fail. And I wanna hear from you if you've ever felt something like this, if you've ever felt desperate for something to help your family, but us also so afraid of trying another thing that might not work. I mean, the amount of things that I tried over the years you would be again floored. If you, if you have, if you've had those thoughts, type yes in the comments now and I'm just going to uh, see if uh, I'm getting any comments because for some reason it just doesn't show up on my thing and I really don't know why. Um, okay, now there's a number of people uh, watching I can see right now but I'm not seeing any comments to see if you guys have felt the same thing and I wanted to hop on here today because I've been there too. My, when my son was really struggling, I spent a small fortune on supplements that I thought might help him. I mean, I probably could have put both of my kids through college on the amount of supplements I tried. And I remember feeling so disappointed when another attempt didn't work. And I remember feeling so afraid to try anything else because I didn't want to fail again. Jennifer saying yes, thanks for, thanks for being brave, Jennifer. And you know, I didn't want to fail at something that mattered to me so much, but I'm so glad I didn't give up. I'm glad I didn't allow fear 
to keep me from doing what I knew was best for my family. And I don't want fear to stop you from doing what your family needs either. Because the truth is, fear should not dictate the way we live our lives. Believe me, if I had allowed fear to dictate how I live my life, I never would have tried changing my family's diet, getting to the root cause of what's going on with my son. And if I hadn't tried, I never would have seen the results that I see now. My son is literally a different kid than he was back then. And if I had listened to that fear, we would still be struggling. If I had listened to fear, I never would have gotten to the root of his ADHD and anxiety symptoms. If I had listened to fear, my entire family would still be miserable. He hasn't been on meds for years. He's doing amazing and we are in an amazing place. And if you are ready to stop allowing fear to dictate your life, let me know in the comments and I'll have someone from my team contact you so we can talk through your fears, work through any other hesitations you might have and see if what I have to offer is right for you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Facebook Live. I will talk to you again soon. Have a great week.